The contradictions between Russia and the West are intensifying. This seems in background of the new visits of Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. Sergei Lavrov took part in the 17th East Asia Summit in Cambodia. The Russian top diplomat is leading Russia's delegation to the summit. On its sidelines, the Russian Foreign Minister will hold several bilateral meetings. From Cambodia, Lavrov will travel to Bali as head of Russia's delegation to the G20 summit. Within the framework of the East Asia Summit, the Russian side intends to discuss in detail the challenges that the Asia-Pacific region is encountering. According to Moscow, the key ones among them are the attempts by the United States of America and its allies to upset the balance of the current system of transnational relations established in the region and their aspiration to bring a confrontational charge to Asia with narrow bloc instruments of domination. Russia also sees dangerous trends in the fact that NATO military and military technological infrastructures are literally being brought into the region, merging this infrastructure with the military potential of Washington's allies, including the AUKUS alliance, Australia, Britain, and the US. Lavrov repeatedly stressed that the South China Sea would become a new NATO's line of defense. On the eve of the summit, Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova stressed that the Russian side views this venue as an important element of the multipolar architecture of regional security with the potential to develop mutually beneficial multilateral cooperation. Russia invariably advocates that the East Asia Summit should address specific development issues that are relevant to each and every country in the Asia-Pacific region, she emphasized reiterating that Russian proposals on launching a mechanism of collective response to pandemic threats were presented within the framework of the East Asia Summit. Moscow also put forward the idea of using the potential of the tourism industry to jointly search for avenues leading to the economic recovery of member states, with the next step being a meeting between the leaders of tourism agencies. Zakharova also noted that ASEAN, the core of the East Asia Summit, supported Russia's proposals on facilitating interaction between volunteer movements of member states. The Russian side welcomes ASEAN's interest in developing interaction with other constructively oriented alliances of the Eurasian space, including the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, or SCO. We support inviting SCO Secretary General Zhang Ming to ASEAN's event in Phnom Penh. ASEAN contacts with this structure enable it to lay the foundation to build sweeping continental cooperation directed at achieving sustainable development, well-being and prosperity for our countries, the foreign minister spokeswoman noted.